Today I recreated this look using the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I also used um, one or two colors from the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. And so just keep watching if you guys would like to see how I got this look. Hi everyone, we're starting off with uh, this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I'm using that as a primer and a base for my eyeshadow so it'll be a lot more brighter. Then going in with chocolate bars in white chocolate, I'm using it under my brow bone. Following, I am putting on my crease uh, from the chocolate palette as well, Milk Chocolate. And it's just a little bit of a transitionary shade just to help it like in blending when I'm blending. Going in with the Urban Decay palette, I'm using the pink color which is Savage. And I'm putting it about on um, three quarters or three fourths of my lid. And so pretty much where my eyeballs end, if you're just looking at it straight ahead, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just leaving the little corner by itself. You see right there, I'm showing you guys about how far. Then going in with like a light pink purple called Jilted, I am putting that on my crease. Then going in with Urban, I am putting that on my outer corner of my eye. This color is gorgeous. I love it so much. So I'm just packing that in. Going back in with the Jilted, I'm adding a little bit to where they meet. And I'm using this more like a blending color just to kind of blend everything in together. Then getting a blending brush, I'm... Blending, blending, blending. I didn't really want harsh lines. I want this all to look like a smooth color. Then going back to the chocolate bar in Champagne Truffle, I'm just adding that to my brow bow. Then getting the blue from Urban Decay palette, I am adding it to um, the corners of my eyes and I'm also adding it to my um, waterline. And make sure you don't get it into your eye like I did. Then um, also putting it underneath that same blue, underneath my waterline, and I'm going to blend all of that out. Oh, I'm sorry. I also put the pink, I forgot, on the inner corner of my eye, and then I'm blending that all out. Going in with this beautiful color called Revolt. It's like a silvery color. I'm just adding it to the inner corners of my eye pretty much above the pink on the bottom and now well, that's it with my eyelashes and eyeliner okay now that my eye makeup is complete and my eyebrows obviously I did them beforehand I am going in and doing the rest of my face I am adding Maybelline's Fit Me in color 225 that is the color of foundation I use and I'm blending it in with this damp beauty blender. Now uh, using Physicians Formula Concealer. In, it's from their Nude Wear collection. I'm not sure the color. I am just going to blend it in with my finger. It's a very, very light concealer. So it... I can easily pat it in with my finger. Next, I did add a little bit to my forehead, a little bit to my nose, just to brighten it up a little bit. I don't do heavy um, contouring and highlighting, but uh, just a little bit for some highlight, just on the right there on the front, because you know I do have a big forehead, so I don't need a lot of attention drawn to it but just a little bit just to brighten up the face a little bit then I'm going in with translucent powder and just putting it all over just to make me look less shiny and to bring some color into my face I am adding some benefits Hula bronzer and just some on my forehead just to 
dull it down a little bit, try to hide it a little bit because I do have a big face. Now I'm going in with uh, the same e.l.f. brush that I used for the translucent powder. I am buffing that all in, trying to blend it in to not make it look really harsh. Now going in with um, Kelly Osborne's um, blush from her MAC collection. I love this blush. It's like a pinky peachy color. I'm adding that to the apples of my cheeks and then I'm just um, buffing it back. Then adding this uh, Cindy Luminizer from The Balm. I love this highlighter because it's a little bit um, rosy. Then I'm going in with a lip liner. It's in the color Natural or Naked, sorry, from Starlux. This is such an awesome lip liner. It says it's a luscious longwear lip pencil. I'm not sure about the long wear because it is very creamy so it, it can be rubbed off pretty easily but it's I love it because it's creamy and it's such a pretty pinky color I've been loving this combo I've been using this lip pencil with Maybelline's color elixirs in the color 100 petal plush which I am going to apply right now after I finish coloring my lips there we go I love those color elix elixirs. And that is the final look. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions on my look, just leave it down below. If you guys also want to see any other different look, uh, I've been playing mostly with the reds, pinks, and purples in this palette. I haven't really gotten into the greens yet, but um, if you guys would like to see another look with any of the other colors, just um, comment down below what color combos you guys would like to see, and I can definitely try to recreate some looks for you guys. It's pretty simple. I like this color, especially um, with the eyelashes. I feel like this look comes out, and because I have the dark liner, I feel it's not too colorful. I think it's something that everyone, a lot of people can wear. It's it's not, um, it's not a, a very neutral color look. Obviously, it's super bright, but it's also very wearable. I feel like this color, it's, it's a very wearable color. It's a fun color, especially right now that it is summertime. This is the perfect time for this palette. If you don't have this palette, there are a lot of palettes um, out there that you guys can recreate this look with. Um, I know I have, I believe, an e.l.f. palette that has a lot of colors. e.l.f. is very, very inexpensive. And especially if you can get it um, during uh, certain clearance, like after holidays, I know you can get the e.l.f. palettes really cheap. And also, um, I've seen them at places like Target or Marshalls. They have like the big palettes with a lot of colors. And I think you can also recreate this look with that palette. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Thank you so much. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.